This is Pre-Calc 12, Chapter 5.2. We're going to be reviewing slope point form. So, slope point form, it's an easy to use form if you are not given the y-intercept. So we have y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, our given point. So, this form is also easy to graph. What is the equation of the line going through 2, 3 with a slope negative 5 over 3? And then graph it. The equation, we just substitute y minus 3, our given point, equals the slope times x minus the given point, 2. So we don't need to calculate. We didn't need to calculate the y-intercept, but we can if you need it. Okay, so y minus 3 equals negative 5 over 3. x, we expand this side. Negative times a negative is positive, and then we have 10 over 3. 5 times 2, and then we have y equals negative 5 over 3x plus 10 over 3 plus, let's convert this 3 to have a common denominator, so we multiply by 3 over 3, we get 9 over 3, and we get y equals negative 5 over 3x plus 19 over 3. And there's our y-intercept. 19 over 3. Okay, so this is easy to graph as well. Uh, let's adjust this a little bit. This has moved over. Okay, so it's at 2, 3. We want to go down 5 because the rise is negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we're going to go over 3. This is the run. 1, 2, 3. Now we connect the two points because we know it's a line. And we're done graphing and finding the equation. So we can apply this to exponential functions as well. What is the equation of the exponential function Going through the point 6, 128, has a base of 2 and a horizontal stretch of 3, then graph. So our equation, we have y equals 128, because this is yi, our specified value, and our base is 2, and we have a horizontal stretch of 3, so we have 1 third. And then t minus our specified value, which is 6. Okay, so that's our specified point. Again, we can calculate the y-intercept. So y equals 128, 2, and we split this up, t over 3 and 2, negative 6 over 3. We simplify this, 128, 2 to the power of t over 3. This is 2 to the power of negative 2. We move this out front. This is actually just dividing by 4, so 128 divided by 4. 2 to the power of t over 3, and we get 32, 2 to the power of t over 3. So the y-intercept is 32, and it's also our y-naught. 
at t0. Okay, so now we know that, we can graph this. But we also know that it has a base of 2, so it doubles every 3 hours. So, at 3, this should be half, so it's at 64. And we can also double from this direction, so we're going 3 hours and we double it. 3 hours backwards and we have it. So our specified point and then we join and that completes the specified point for exponential functions. So you can use the specified point to generate equation rather than using the intercept. And that completes this lesson.